Welcome to this video where I'm going to be comparing the results of two different article generators. This is my tiny house niche website. I made this live on video pretty much. I showed you everything. If you want to watch that video, if you want to learn how to do something like that, then if you go on playlists right here and click on this playlist right here, the first video is a two and a half hour long video where I did everything you're seeing in this video. However, at this time, I was just using ChatGPT to create content. So we're actually going to be comparing three different ways of creating content. ChatGPT, Koala, and Article Fiesta. If you want to try Article Fiesta or Koala, I do have affiliate links. They are in the description of this video. If you want to support me and if you want to try these tools out, then definitely please use my link. What we're going to be doing is we're going to see here, if I put this on the last 28 days, we're going to see what's ranking and what's not ranking. I haven't been keeping too close of an eye on Tiny Home Hub, to be honest with you, because I'm still just, I'm just waiting for it to kind of get a little bit of natural authority. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it by pages and we're going to sort it by impressions like this. And I'm going to go through each one of these and we'll open up another search console and I'll show you why just now. What we can do is we can go on search results here and new and then page and then put this article in. Now, this is an article Fiesta article and the impressions is doing pretty well, to be honest with you. This is one of the better articles. Uh, we can see, yeah, this is a really, really good one. Barnadum, Barndominium plans. So this is one of the older articles, so that's probably why it's here. So this is the best performer and it's an article Fiesta article. Let's have a look at the second best performer here in terms of impressions. Anyway, as a lot of, you know, I mainly look at impressions. Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good as well. This was a chat GPT pillar post that I made. If you, again, if you want to know how I did these pages, please watch this uh, tutorial right here. That's basically how I do a lot of my chat GPT content. Now this is actually getting clicks as well, which is really nice. Each of these clicks is like, you know, a very, very small amount of money, but it all adds up because I am AdSense approved. So that's really, really nice. Let's actually do it by clicks instead of impressions, just because I have a feeling we're going to see a bit more interesting content that way. This is another one that I created using ChatGPT. So we'll search this here. And we'll see how this is doing. This looks like it's going to be a really, really good performer. This is exactly the kind of content that I talked about in one of the videos here where I, I talked about pillar posts, how I exploit ChatGPT pages to rank fresh domains. Literally exactly what you can see here. 32 clicks in three months is pretty nice. Remember, this is a fresh domain, fresh website. So 20 clicks a month on a new website. You're going to take those, let's be honest. Let's keep going. Tiny houses here. This is probably the main keyword here is going to be site tinyhome.com or whatever. Tiny home, tiny home. T H A W S. That's actually a real keyword. Yeah, that's uh, another pillar page. This one here is Article Fiesta again. You're probably seeing a kind of pattern here. It seems like Article Fiesta is ranking very, very well. The reason for that is mainly because the stuff that I'm writing with Koala is affiliate marketing stuff, whereas the stuff I'm wearing, writing with Article Fiesta is more informational content. Basically, everything is getting indexed very, very quickly, though, and that's super, super cool. So contact, no, Barnadium, we've already done. Sustainability, this page should not be getting impressions. I don't know how it's doing it. It's actually crazy that this page is getting so many impressions and so many clicks and things. It's just such a basic page on such a massive topic. I really wouldn't have expected it to get traffic, but you know, this is just the power of writing a lot of sections and adding them to your website. So I just added that randomly. Here we go. Best portable water filtration systems. Perfect. This is a koala article. It looks like it kind of has been finished off. I don't want to use that word. Um, but that is quite normal. This can happen. It, of, it often booms and then busts and then booms again. So we'll see if that recovers. I hope so, because that seemed like it was going to be a really, really good performing article. Uh, this is a chat GPT page. This is looking like it's going to be pretty solid in the future. It looks like it's going to be getting a lot of traffic every day. So that's perfect. Uh, let's see if there's any more Koala articles here. This is, let's see, I think this is Article Fiesta. Let's have a look. 
No, this is a chat GPT one. Yeah, that was a chat GPT one that I wrote. This one here, tiny home checklist. This is another pillar page. The reason I'm showing you this, if you're a new viewer, this video is probably not going to make that much sense. But if you've watched my process from the beginning, you are going to understand what I'm trying to show you here. This is Article Fiesta again. So Article Fiesta does look like it's doing pretty damn well, to be honest with you. Let's see if there are, this is this is all Article Fiesta. This is, I believe, ChatGPT. So in terms of like actually getting traffic, Koala seems like it's the worst one, but I am going for the I'm going for much more competitive keywords if you think about it. So this is um, Article Fiesta, Article Fiesta. This is ChatGPT, Article Fiesta, Article Fiesta, Article Fiesta, Article Fiesta, Modern Tiny Homes. I don't know if this is Article Fiesta or not. Let's have a look. Also, another thing, Azoic completely destroyed my website. I'm still leaving it because it's nice to be, yeah, this is Article Fiesta. It's nice to be monetized, but it, it the page speed has just been destroyed on my website, which is kind of upsetting, to be honest with you. Um, let's see if, there we go, portable solar panels. Let's see if this is still doing well or whether it's one that has boom and busted as well, just like its counterpart. So it looks like Koala might not be ranking that well. So... I would be I'd be pretty careful with Koala. I'm definitely going to give it more time, and these are extremely competitive keywords for sure. Best portable solar panels. Like it's obviously going to be competitive, but I am a little bit worried. We'll definitely see. I'm going to keep up with this. I'm still posting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's see if there's any more um, any more Koala stuff. Honestly, it looks like the best way to do it is do your pillar pages with ChatGPT set up everything nicely and then add article fiesta articles and then koala yeah just i think they need more time personally i'll definitely make an updated video on this so people can see what it's like in a few more months or whatever it might be but yeah let's just have a quick look at page speed because this is kind of annoying this was a hundred percent urls were good on mobile now it's zero percent and this is about the time that i added azoic yeah, it's literally the day I added Exoic, it just just went down. So overall, like I said before, Article Fiesta seems to be performing very, very well. I'm very, very happy with Article Fiesta. And I would definitely recommend giving it a try. What I like to do is I like to create my pillar pages with a lot of information on, um, not make them too long, maybe 500 to 1,000 words. And then I like to support them with Article Fiesta. I'm hoping Koala will make a comeback and will start performing, but for now at least it looks like it's not ranking that well. I will make an update. I will let you know in the future how this is going. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you for watching as usual, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.